Hey guys, in this video I'm going to talk about this carbon fiber handguard I've been working on for a friend. Uh, he is doing a super lightweight build um, and he was looking at the carbon fiber handguards that are available on the market and the good ones are um, somewhere in the neighborhood of four to five hundred dollars and so I, uh, I went on McMaster car and I found this uh, carbon fiber tube. It's, it's legit carbon fiber. It's not um, it's not the, the wrap or whatever. It's not just cosmetic. Um, it's actual carbon fiber and it's not a lot of money. I think this is about 60 bucks um, and it is 12 inches long um, and the OD was as big as they had. So um, I looked around at what I had and uh, I found a way to make this work. So let me show you how this goes together. Uh, he's got his lightweight upper here with no um, deflector or um, forward assist or even the, the uh, dust cover. He's got this Faxon barrel. Uh, which is really cool. It's it's a pencil barrel that is uh, 16 inches and it is one pound. And then um, some more details about the handguard here. Um, I took a YHM barrel nut. Um, let me grab one. I got another one over here. So the YHM one is kind of standard. It's um, if you look at all the cheap handguards on, on eBay, it's kind of what they all use. Uh, let me pull this one out and I'll show you what it looks like. So it's just one of these guys. Uh, you might have seen these before. They're, um, you run your gas tube through, gas tube through these holes, um, and that's pretty much it for these. Um, so the OD of this when I first got it was uh, too big to fit on the inside of this uh, carbon fiber tube. And so I stuck this in a lathe and I turned it down. And I, um, when it's done, it'll actually fit all the way on. But uh, just for now, I don't want to stick it all the way on because it is a really tight fit. Um, and I put a slot here and a slot here. I cut this with a hacksaw. Uh, it's not perfectly straight, but it doesn't really matter because it'll get covered up in the end. Um, so the way it goes together is just like you'd expect. You will, uh, he, when he puts this together, it will be just the barrel nut, not the carbon fiber handguard um, attached. So he'll torque this down, uh, make sure his gas tube goes in, and then he'll slide this on all the way, um, which you can do, but it's, it's just really tricky to get it off since it's such a tight fit. And then uh, I 3D printed this, um, this clamp right here, and it'll keep it secure. Um, I've put this together once, and it's really difficult to take apart, so I don't want to do it for you guys, but I'll show you another video when it's done. Um, and this is really strong uh, once it's on there all the way. Um, and on a 16-inch barrel, um, it's almost perfect at the tip here. He'll have his muzzle device sticking out. Uh, he didn't care for a front sight, so that's um, that's something a little different. Uh, most people will want one, but um, he, just like I, I do, uh, we both have astigmatism, so the red dots don't work too well. Um, he doesn't like iron sights, and um, so he'll be running like a, a scope or a prism, like a lightweight prism scope on, on the upper receiver here. Um, one idea I had was that I could um, mill out... Um, uh, key mod or M lock slots here, and you can put a rail piece in here and then get a front sight. Um, I was thinking about actually milling out a bunch of these and putting holes everywhere, kind of like the, the typical aluminum handguards to lighten it up. But um, it's already pretty dang light, so um, I've weighed this uh, before um, I put it all together. And all together for a 12 inch handguard, this is uh, less than five ounces. So uh, the carbon fiber piece is three ounces. And then the barrel nut was um, j almost exactly two ounces when I started, and I, sh and I sh shaved a bunch down on the lathe, and then this um, 3D printer printed piece is almost nothing. So all in, it is actually just under uh, five ounces for a 12-inch handguard. Uh, and it was, I think the, the barrel nut was 10 bucks. This guy was about 60 bucks. So for about 70 bucks, um, he has one that uh, is pretty nice and doesn't cost a lot of money. Um, I think there's somebody that makes something really similar but you have to epoxy this together, and I didn't. Neither of us like that very much. Um, I don't know how you'd ever get the um, the barrel nut off there. You'd probably have to cut the handguard off. But um, yeah, so that's it. I'll uh, I'll show you how this looks when it's all together. But um, that's it for this video. I'll see you guys next time.